Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Ebony Jones. Ebony, a bit of a random fight week. Well, it's not fight week, is it? A couple of weeks away from fight week. So, uh, did you have enough notice for this media workout today? Uh, yeah, I had enough notice. I think it's quite good that it's not in fight week. Um, just do it a couple of weeks before. Sand, so let's quickly talk about your last fight. Uh, I hate starting on negatives, but we'll start with that. So, what, what did you learn from that? And, you know, where did you think it, it might have gone wrong for you? I don't think it should have been a draw personally. I think if I'm being picky, I could give her a couple of rounds. But have getting the draw, I think, just made me more determined to sort of change a few things, make myself the fittest I can be. And I just think I'm going to be a lot better in this fight. I've, to be honest, even though it was a bit rubbish that I got a draw, um, it's a good thing that it happened. Yeah. I think sometimes fighters pick up, learn more from them sort of incidents. So, you know, just for you to go back, because I want the fans to try and understand, you know, what it must have been like for you to go back, because obviously it was only your second fight, yeah. facing friends, family. How, how did you deal with all that? Um, I don't know, really. I, I don't really, it's not so much other people. I also think it's how I felt in myself. Um, but at the same time, I think looking at the Taylor Catchell decision, I was lucky that they didn't give me a loss. So at least it was, it was just uh, the draw. But I just got straight, straight back to training, really. I'm guessing the judges had a, an off night that night. So yeah, it, was the re it was the ref who, who yeah. gave the decision for mine, so, yeah. So you said you come back and worked on some things. You said fitness was one of them. Um, t tell me a bit more. So what, what other stuff have you worked on? Yeah, so I've, obviously I thought I was fit, but really, a girl like Effie, just non-stop, really could have been fitter. So, yeah, I've just been uh, doing a lot more different things in the gym, um, I'd say, I've always trained hard, but I'd say training smarter. Obviously, it's the first time we've spoken to our Boxing King media, so I just want to get to know you a little bit as well. So, what does he do outside boxing? Do you have, like, a job as well? Um, I've just started a new job, actually, in Portsmouth at a gym called Sweat. Um, I just take some, like, boxing classes. Um, I only do a few of them a week, but other than that, I just train in full-time. So, I'm lucky to be able to train full-time, yeah. That's an interesting name there, Jim Cole Sweat. So am I right saying if someone wants to do some one-to-one -one training with you, where can they hit you up? Yeah, well, at the minute I haven't really got time for one to one so I'm training so hard, but like after the fight maybe start doing some one-to-ones, but yeah, I've do, um, been doing boxing classes down there. Sound. And weight-wise, you know, obviously Dan is a featherweight and boxer, but I know boxer isn't always accurate, so what yeah. do you think would be the right weight for you? Super bantam. So obviously I had a long time out of boxing, so I just sort of come back and was did a couple... My, the plan was always just to do a couple at feather and then move down. Um, but yeah, I'm too small for featherweight. I, when I was like in amateurs and stuff, I would never dreamed of boxing at featherweight. So yeah, um, I think Super Bantam would be the heaviest for me now, moving forward. Well, that, that division's got loads of fighters. Obviously, Ellie Scott had a good performance at the weekend. Is that the kind? Obviously, in women's boxing, you've got to progress quick. You don't get many learning fights. So, do you think at some point you're you're going to clash? Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, she's one of the best about, I believe. So, yeah, I think that fight would happen one day, definitely. There's been a bit of back and forth between Ellie and Ebony Bridges. Or your namesake. Who do you think wins that fight if they do fight? Ellie Ellie Scott knew all day long. She's actually a proper fighter. Do you know what I mean? Like not putting bridges down or anything but um, that's the way I'll say it. I think she's levels above her San uh, Ebony is there anything else you want to add you tell the fans where they can follow you on the socials I just I want to suppose thank my sponsors and my full time sponsors Staple Garage and Motivate Apparel um, and just really I think it's going to be an interesting fight and I think you're going to see a different fighter definitely to the last fight well, you're a very lucky lady. You've obviously fought the Glasgow, you fought at Wembley before, and you're fighting at Wembley again, so quite lucky. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go for that sign falls on you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Cheers.